Hey guys, so what you just saw was a plant of green tomatoes. Uh, my fiance had planted them in the summer. Uh, in the early month, that's not even true. She might have actually planted them before summer. So they're happening now, they're growing slowly and I can't wait to have them. They look pretty yummy and they're edible. So just something in our small little garden here we have and it's kind of cool that we can grow green tomatoes and uh, put it on the food we eat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What I've been doing right now is cooking and walking on the beach and just meditating, really. Quiet meditations. So I want to show you what I'm cooking right now. I'm making pasta. It's one of my favorites. Uh, spinach, kale, avocado. So right here is the kale and the spinach and right under there is the Boca burger which is like a tofu type of burger. I really like it. My fiance always gets it to me so it's buried under here. You can see it's got that beautiful color. You turn it over. It's a nice brown. So this is almost done. And there's my pasta boiling away and my cut avocado. So, that's where I'm at. I want to paint so bad, I really do. I'm going to see if I can show you right now my painting. It's against this window right now, I'll show you. There she is. So, I will get back to her very soon, but right now I'm on a break. I can't wait to get back to the brushes and smell the medium and feel the scrubbing of the brush on the canvas, all that romantic, fun process. But I'm happy right now where I'm at.
Taoism is in that sense what everybody is looking for. The easy way in, the shortcut, using cleverness
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did like that painting, you know, leave the comments below. Also, give me a like and uh, hit that subscribe button, and uh, you'll get more of these videos of my law of my video logs of me in the process of just painter and there's going to be other videos as well i think i'm aiming towards because it's going to be fall i want to show you other things i do like sketching on the bus um talking more about the art equipment i want and the uh and the other things i'm doing besides that besides art so yeah check that out okay so now we're in the part of the video what i want to show you some of the things I've been using and some of the ideas. I'm going to try to not speak so fast and I'm not going to be too all over the place. But let me first start with the the sketchbook that starts about seven years ago. This is, and I still use sketchbooks by then and they have evolved as they've gone. I, I only have one of, t I have probably like 10 sketchbooks, but I have one. It's around here. Here it is. So this is like a five by seven you can get these at art stores they got like a hundred pages and there's nothing fancy about it it's the paper it's okay some of them are cheap but this one I forgot which brand this was this was about seven dollars and if I can I'm gonna read this off to you what date it was that when I started this okay this says this is the sketchbook of Omar Viles and I even put my uh, <laughs> my email if, like someone's gonna give it to me or not but it, this is my very first sketch on March 17, 2014. I even have sketchbooks dated back to 20, uh, 2011, but this is the one I have. So you can see. And that is a Micron pen. So a lot of this stuff was Micron pen. And I basically went to a lot of sketch places, uh, sketch meetups to, with a friend. And I don't think you can see it too well, but uh, yeah, a lot of sketch meetups and uh, just you know really cool ideas learning how to draw the anatomy and always drawing the head and uh, even little notes I left let's see what it says uh, oh love it the way it's drawn yeah yeah someone put a note that they love the way I drew this this is a uh, a perspective of the face of some human being uh, 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 an, uh, um, what do you call it a model <laughs> So a lot of models I drew, and it was really nice. It was really fun to just see them in real life. And, and I, I, I tell you guys, it's important to learn how to draw from life. And that includes drawing anatomy if you want to have to draw anatomy. And I still practice. Now you'll see me put color into the sketchbook. And a sketchbook is really not to be perfect for me. It's just ideas and putting them down. And I learned how to draw the head a lot in different perspectives, especially in the subway. So the subway was a great thing in New York City because no one really noticed. I had my headphones on and I pull out my little bag and just draw people. So you can see, I just drew people a lot and I didn't stop. I never really stopped. I just kept enjoying drawing people. That was so much fun. Um, and I used a Micron pen. So I was using pen at this point. Back in 2011, I was just using pencil, like a 2B pencil. And I was using notebook paper and notepad paper, which was cheap too. So I, I suggest you guys draw every day, sketch something, you know, sketch people, sketch rocks, sketch trains, sketch angles. I even sketch structures, you know, like in the city, I was learning how to sketch structures. They were not perfect, but it was learning and it was so much fun. And uh, playing with markers and colors and letting things come out. So I really want to start this again. I, I am going to start showing a sketchbook series, actually. I'm going to show you every day what I sketch. So you can see... Um, right now we can't really go to sketch places because of COVID, but yeah, you know, oh, these are great. I, I have to say, I recommend you guys get these pencils if you're going to do it. These are, uh, I believe they're prism, prisma colors. They come like 16. They, you can't see it too well here, but they really help you draw. Um, and then of course, these are markers I use to draw these different people. So that was a marker sketch that I really enjoyed. That was so much fun. Uh, so I even wrote poems in there. Uh, I was learning how to draw hands, like drawing people's big hands. Like that was so cool. I miss sketching right now. Just <sighs> sketching is just fun to draw and then you can just put it away. So that's one of, I don't want to go too long into sketchbooks, but this is the, another tool I use. Uh, this is a Canson one and the same idea. Canson, I mean, I don't want to show you too much. It's the same thing. I was actually, 
what I did here was a, a color palette of the pencils I was using actually. So you can see I was drawing them out so I can see how they look on paper and reference them and reference them later. So when I sketched, so that was one idea. And I wrote down notes, um, drew a lot of heads, a lot of poems. So you can see that person. And what else? Oh, what else? Oh, I drew animals. I was drawing owls at one point, maybe, if you can see that. So I drew owls. I was in a, an amazing place. So that's my sketchbook series. Now let's go on to other things I paint on. So besides sketchbooks, I actually paint on canvases. This is a painting I haven't started. I started in 2016. It's on my YouTube channel. You can check out the process of it. It's basically a, I don't know if YouTube can show it. It's a nude girl, but she's on a rock and water is covering her. So that's what this is. And I started it and I only used one color, actually two colors in the beginning of this. So it's like a greenish and a gray to get the tones right. So this is a, a, a 16 by 20 canvas. I get these canvases, of course, they're cheap. I, I haven't learned how to do my own canvas. I got these pre-made at Michael's. They're really cheap, the canvases, but the, but a great practice. And you never know, you could always, you know, I say if the artwork's great, you can sell it on anything. So that's one size, that's 16 by 20 canvas. And then another canvas, this was actually another canvas I did. It, it's 10 by 10 and I actually primed it. It was actually, I primed it myself, which is prime. If you don't know what prime is, it's basically like a white uh, gesso, it's called. A white G-S-G-E-S-S-S-O. -S 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 You'll probably see it pop up on the screen. And it's basically how you, to get ready for paints, especially for oil. So this is an eight by 10. I used oil on it and it's a finish. So this is an eight by 10 square. And I found this little canvas for like $2 and I just primed it, so. And then I use multimedia paper. Multimedia paper is thin. It's like a, it's good for watercolors, markers, and color pencils. And I like drawing in this medium too, as you can see. Um, this is one of my, uh, I drew a turtle here on the Verizon Bridge. And I have a whole series of this, by the way, of these guys. So check that link out below too of my, I just started one with the mermaid. It's on Fine Art America. And you can see a mermaid and some uh, squid. And I'm going to, be posting more of these out so they'll be they'll be available art prints for these as well if you really like them check them out I really like them myself so um yeah so that's this paper is flexible as you can see and you can frame them and let me show you some of the brushes I well I'll show you the pencils I've been using oh here it is cold erase this is the pencil cold erase from uh, Prismacolor these are great tools so you probably got like almost three minutes of almost Here's, here's the pencils in a beautiful little carry-on pouch and some brushes I carry as well. And I already gave you almost four minutes of, of just drawing. Now these colored pencils I'm talking, the drawing pencils I want to talk about, and I did a video on that. You probably see the link below one of these places. Uh, I did a, a review, a product review on the Derwent uh, drawing pencils. These are great pencils. They only come 24 and they get a great price. Unfortunately, I wish I could afford their Light Fast series, Dirt Warrants. They have like a 72 and 100. They're so expensive. I wish I could afford it. Dirt Warrant, if you hear me, please send me one. I'll give you a great review. No, I'm just joking. I, I've had to pay for my own hard money. But, um, yeah, I love these pencils. You can see I, I actually bought the set twice. Yes, I love them so much I bought the set twice. And set me back almost a whole year of art supplies, but worth it. Um, then, let's go to the paints. So... The paint I use right now, I'll show you what I use. I use random cheap brushes. I don't have expensive brushes. I wanna get the rosemary, but I have the, these are Artist Law, if you can get these at um, Dick Blix. No, sorry, not Dick Blix, Michaels. But I do have Dick Blix uh, brushes too. They're pretty nice, but most of these I'm showing you right now are the, are the um, they're really the cheap ones you can get, but they do the job. They're, some are for acrylic, some for watercolor. And so, well, some are for oil, so they do a whole bunch of random different things. And then the paint I use, I'll show you two of them. Let's see. Yeah, here it, here it is. It's the Windsor Newton Artisan Water Mixables. So these are what I've been using to paint. Um, basically, I've been painting um, the singer. So there you go. And then the medium I use, I use a painter's medium. This is a sunflower one, but I use painter's medium also from Windsor Newton. They have a spe specific brand for that. So, and then 
You have the paint thinner, which you use. I use the Mona Lisa one. This is great for painting. And last but not least, I use paper towel and a palette. This is one palette I use, a just a plastic palette. You can use a see-through. So, yeah. So that was a whole bunch of information. Oh, just it's just a little bit of what I have and and what I paint. I have so much more art supplies that I can go over: racers, rulers. Oh my God, tape. You can go on different sketch papers, scissors. I can go on, but. I want you guys to just let you know that my I have seven years of art, you know, doing a lot of art, and uh, that's why I'm enjoying sharing this with you guys on my journey. And I'm going to show you other drawings I'll be doing, hopefully, so you can see over my shoulder, and uh, and you can watch my journey as I finish the singer. I hope you like this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's so much. Thank you guys for watching, and... Uh, Keep drawing. If you can start sketching, sketch. Um, paint what you want to paint. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Bye.